on this episode of Home Shop Swap. The team is back to start a heart-wrenching process of stripping the blue car. But first, they make one last attempt to start the car to say their farewells. Assignments are handed out and the process of stripping the car begins right away. The hunt is on to find a replacement Fiero. But it is not without its share of drama. Can they keep it together long enough to get through this project? Stay tuned to find out in this automotive unreality show. Last Not Forgotten's Home Shop Swap Garage. guys thank you for coming back welcome to episode two I'm really excited to get started on this so in episode one we took some time to introduce you guys so we can move past that but before we start uh, working on this car I'd like to take one more opportunity to test start the car just as a one last farewell and to make sure that we are taking apart a good running car does anyone have any objections to that? No, no objections here. I'm, I'm good, well. Now I'm good, it's been annoying me. No complaints here, go for it. All right, well then, thanks for coming and let's get this car prepped for one last start. All right, moment of truth. Here we go. Good luck. Congratulations. That was nice. Oh, what a shame. Yeah, that, that was cool. Uh, I'm so happy that it worked. We definitely have a good foundation for a new car here. Well, we just witnessed the very last test start. It's going to be a sad project, but it has to be done. So let's, let's do this. All right, so let's get started. Body guy, you're up first. Interior guy, why don't you take a break? Tech guy, why don't you actually go ahead, hit the computer, and find me a new car? Let's put the feelers out there. Let's see what's out there. I'm thinking, you know, something along the lines of 500 bucks. You know, what I'm looking for is a project car, something we can take everything, switch it over, and kind of make a new new fun race car, show car, or something, but it's got to be a project. It's got to be cheap. That's your goal, okay? I'm excited. To your guy, you're going to be up in a short bit. Bye, you guy. Do your thing. Me, I've got a lot of other things to do, so I'm going to go ahead and start working on some other things. So let's break. So yeah, let me know if you need anything. Keep me posted. Be right inside. All right, looks like I've got some homework to do, so I'm going to go get up some cars and see what's out there. All right, I'm going to go get something to eat. Uh, I should be back shortly. 
I'll help you out, but let me know if you need anything. Other than that, I should be back in the field. And I am going to get started. I don't know why I'm talking to myself, but let's get started. I guess we'll start with the hood. All right. Let's... Front strut, got a little ding there, looks like it's kind of pushed here, but kind of the same thing because the strut, the shock can twist, it looks like it kind of went with it. The rubber up here, which I know you probably can't see, um, the, the rubber up here is kind of twisted to conform with the bent uh, brace, but uh, it, it might be okay as well. We'll go ahead and pull these off and then uh, we'll, we'll kind of assess them a little bit more. But I just wanted to take a second to bring you up to speed on the inside of this. I mean the whole reason the wheel is twisted is because the, the frame or the unibody is twisting. Uh, but I don't really see much in the way of an actual bent control arm or anything of the such so um, I mean still spin the rotor but uh, yeah we'll keep going but I just figured I'd, I'd take that second to uh, kind of show you the inside here yeah, and this uh, coolant pipe is definitely kinked bent but anyway Back to it. Oh, wow. This is different. Definitely some progress made. Quickly, might I add. Do you need any help? Uh, yeah, actually, do you mind helping me? Uh, now that you're here, uh, I'd like to take the door off. I could use your help with that. Yeah, yeah. Um, what do you want me to do? Uh, Alright, well, what I'm going to do is I'm going I'm to unbolt the hinge bolts here. You can maybe hold the other side, open the latch. I'm hoping that when we open the latch, we can just swing it off. So I get this side, you get that side. Does that work? Okay, yeah. I'll, I'll get ready to uh, hold the door. Awesome. Alright, yeah, let me, uh, let me get this ready. I'll, I'll go man my station. I am ready when you are. Yeah, just uh, let me know when you're ready. I'll be watching some YouTube videos. There's these really cool Piero you know, how-to videos. This guy's a genius. How does he do it? Alright, let's see if we can move this. Okay, I got this. All right. All right. Excellent. Yes. All right. Set my side down. Uh, all right. I got my side down. How about you? All right. I'm gonna bring my side down. Let me just disconnect the connectors.
Thank you. That was, that was tough. Yeah, if you, uh, if you don't mind, could I take this panel and, and start stripping it out from the inside? Some good stuff here. No, no, go ahead. It's okay. Thank you. folded up a little bit and uh, this this actually seems pretty good you know no no damage or anything maybe a little touch up paint but yeah so thank you Fiero store this is actually a pretty durable panel it survived better than the door frame itself let's go put this in stock Body guy. Can I ask you something? What? I've been thinking. Big boss man. What does he do in a day? I mean, it doesn't really seem like he does a lot. You do the body work, I do the interior. Tech guy's looking for the car. So what does he do? What is he doing today? Dude, he's probably got the most important job out of all of us. You know what? 
Fiero, it's affected all our lives. Yeah, affected. That's what I said, just making sure. Yeah. Dude, he's probably got the most important job out of all of us. bother thinking that far into things because he's doing his thing he's been making these videos for years he's been working on this car for longer than I don't even know so I'm sure he's got a lot going on if he has to hire help to do this while he's taking care of other things most important job of all I don't even question him he's doing what he's doing and he's signing my check so I know what you mean. And that's just how I see it. I was just wondering, you know. You're probably right. Anyway, I have to get back to work. Good chat. Yeah, I got you. Anyway, uh, I've got stuff to do. I'm gonna head out. Take care though, don't work too hard. Seriously dude, D stop doing my job. That's my thing, not your thing. Leave it alone, just get out. I was just trying to help you out. I mean, get out, let me finish my job, you can come back later. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, okay, I'm, I'm going in, I'm going. Put it away. It's good, it's inventory. I was just trying to help. I'm sorry. I'll... Yeah. Freaking people. Gosh. Sometimes you can't stand people. my job for me like I can't do it myself really you know that's what I'm here for but yeah it would be nice to talk I think I got some things I just need to get off my chest I see sounds deep let's talk about it you and me we can uh, work this out and uh, when you're feeling better let's get back on the car I guess it just all stems back from body image issues as a child you know, like, I feel like growing up sounds deep. Um, you want to talk about it? No, oh. What's that? Okay, I'll be right there. Give me one second. Um, listen, hey, uh, sorry about your troubles. I hope this little heart-to-heart -heart worked out, make me feel better. I got to run. I got to see what's Seriously? going on. You know, putting out fires. I mean, I just, uh, whatever. That's how you're going to do me? Whatever. I got this. What's up? Yeah, come here. I think I got a few hits you might be interested in. So I've been doing some digging and I came across uh, a couple of GTs that might be interesting projects for our restoration. We've got one in Virginia. It's an 86 GT. It's black um, project car. Uh, definitely fits the criteria. Um, also found an 88 GT in Ohio. It's got a sunroof. 
I know the cradles will be a little bit different, the suspension and all that, um, so there might be a little bit of modification in swapping over cradles or um, swapping out cradles. Um, but there's a, a Fiero fiberglass company that went under and I guess the property owner was looking to get rid of parts and cars, so I kind of inquired and I got this interesting uh, IM message on Facebook. Uh, someone has an 87 GT, shot me over some pictures, definitely a project car. Um, maybe we could look into. He's done some work to it already. Um, rims, uh, engine was redone. Uh, we'll get some more detail on that if you're interested in. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I'm. I'm kind of liking this one. He, he's kind of coming at us with a good price, with a good project car. What do you think? I'm liking that. Yeah, it says it's a clean frame. Let me know if you're interested. I'm down in Florida. I'll give you a good deal because it's your videos that help me out a lot. I thought that was really respectable, really cool. He also mentioned that it's got custom coilovers, C4 brakes, uh, everything has been uh, polyed, uh, brake lines, new engine. Um, but yeah, he's guessing we'll do the 3.8, which he's exactly right. We're gonna. We're gonna swap that out for something a little beefier. I see. So we have in. So what do you think? 86 in Virginia, 88 in Ohio, and there's that 87 all the way down in Florida. That 87 is really high, but I like what they've done with it so far. I mean, there's a lot of modifications that really would save me a lot of time because they're already done. Can you can you follow up with that one, please? All right, I'm on it. You can count on me. Yeah, let me... Let me mow that over. That's, that's really going to eat up my, my build budget. $1,000 is a lot, but it is a really good deal, and there's a lot of work done to it. Follow up with them. Keep, keep pushing them. See, see what information you get out of them, and... Uh, let me see if I can just feel the vibe on this one. I want to make sure the car we get, just, I want to vibe with it. Yeah, I really like the fact that it's an 87. I mean, 87 to 87, it's really good. It's got just about everything I want. It's a hard top. It's an 87. Uh, it's got some work done to it, but yet it's still a project car. The only downside I see to it right now is it's a five speed. I have to convert that over. I mean, as much as I'd hate to convert a five speed over to an automatic, I think that's better for the budget. I mean, it would cost more to convert my engine over to a manual in parts than it would be to just a straight swap that fire speed out. But let me mow that over. Everything else on it's really good. I like everything about it. But anyway, let me let me head upstairs. Let me let me get some things done while I mow this over. But. Keep on, all right? All right, yeah. Sounds good. I will uh, continue following up. Thank you. I'm out. All right, take it easy. What's up? How's it going? Are you hungry? I was thinking maybe I can swap places and grab a bite to eat and I'll do my thing for a little bit. Um, yeah, I'm kind of hungry. It does sound like a pretty good idea. Great, okay, cool. Let me grab some tools. Okay, yeah, let me, let me just put this inventory and I'm gonna switch. Great, yeah. I'm out. Good deal, cool. All right, yeah. Looks like my weapon of choice today, the torque screwdriver. I'm gonna grab a bite to eat. Don't worry about my stuff, mofo. I got this. No slacking, though. I'm trusting you.
when you get back, you'll be blown on what all I've done. Like, comprehend it. I want to see progress when I get back. Got this. This is my thing. When you get back, this interior will be the exterior. And your mind will be blown at how fast I work. You're going to be jealous at my speed. So, do your protein shake, come back, and then put on the wow face, because I got this. Hold on to your phone, because you ain't keeping up at this speed. Will interior guy get the interior out in time? Will body guy finish his grilled cheese sandwich? Will tech guy find the perfect car for big boss man? We'll find out the answers to these questions and more in the next episode of Home Shop Swap Garage. And remember, for every like this video receives, a lost puppy finds a home. For every notification bell hit, an angel receives their wings. And every time this video is shared, we get one step closer to curing cancer. So hit that subscribe button, and my dad will pay me, voiceover girl, a dollar. Also, subscribe to my channel, Team Odina, because I'm just too cute. Thanks for watching. You wasted all the film.